All right, happy Tuesday, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to the show. It's now time for a segment we like to call Things to Care About. <laughs> but I'm filling in for the lovely Christine Pilara, so it's Things to, to Nisa, Nisa Green About. about. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Nisa. Hey, Kara. What's going on? You in that dress? Oh, well, I was just complimenting <laughs> you on your face. Thank you so much. It looks much. good. It looks well, good. Well, I said this might be why it was on sale, though, because it's white all right here. So you have to be careful with your underpinnings. Yeah, but you're saying. working it. You okay, are, thank you. You are working it. All right, working I appreciate it. it. You are, too, per usual. I feel like I'm just continuing this love doctor thing, y'all. Y'all, that got spicy. It that, did. It was good. It did? It okay, was good. good. Well, it's hard, because, you know, I think when you're dating, too, you just, like... You're looking for all the right answers, but nobody really has nobody them. Nobody really Only knows. in your soul. Your nobody heart. really knows. Right, nobody there, knows. And there, really, are there any right or wrong answers? No. Do it your way, do what makes you happy. That's true. Which brings me to this first study I okay. want to ask you about. All right. All right, so what do you think about couples that don't feel pressed to spend the holidays together? Interesting. I have spent a few holidays separate from my husband because of work. Mm-hmm. And I were you and the boys. Yes. You and the boys, okay. Yes, and... And when we were dating, too. But I think there's two different ways. Because when we were dating, it was one of us wanted to be with our families or not. Right. But now that we're together, we don't split up. And we have kids, so we always stay together. So if, like, one of us has to work, then we try to stay, you know, in the same state. Okay, so, yeah. but ideally, would you just do every holiday together if you could? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, uh, you like to split it? Well, I mean, the thing is, there's, there's a... A couple's therapist in New York, Matt yeah. Lundquist, who says, if you're doing holidays apart, it's not necessarily the, the kiss of doom for your relationship. Sure. But he does say, examine why you're doing it. So for you, okay. it's the work, right. family situation, so that clearly makes sense. But there are some couples that aren't so tied to family, and they want to start making their own traditions, so they choose not to do right. it. That's the author of this study has been with her significant other for four years, and they've only done one holiday together. Really? Yes, one holiday. Interesting. And she says she didn't think it was weird until people started asking like questions and lots of questions. That's what like, happens with when most you see things, each other? Right? How do you exchange gifts? And she's like, that's just not the most important thing to us. And she says they do that throughout the year with right. each other. And so holidays often, don't hold the same weight. All right. But how often does that happen to you where you'll be going about your life and you think you're making the right decision and so everything's going fine? And then somebody else says to you, well, that's <laughs> weird that you guys don't spend holidays together. And then, and then all you start of a sudden it's like it? internal crisis. You have to own it. You yeah, have to own it. And that's what, that's what Matt Lundquist was saying, the physical therapist. He was, I mean, the couples therapist. Yeah. He was saying, be willing to explain it, but just know you're going to have some explaining to do. Right. Now, do you always spend holidays with your family? No, it, it just happened. Just whatever works. His family, my family, no right. family. I mean, it just depends on what works. Right. But seriously, it's it's life happens, and yeah. it, it I I do think it's important to make start making your own um, traditions and things like that. So I think when you're starting to move in that direction, family isn't the well, biggest thing. Especially when dealing with parents and in-laws too. Like my mom was always really great. She said the holidays are just a day. Good we can for make you. Christmas on the 27th or you know whatever to exactly. celebrate. So she tried to make it special like that so there would be no pressure put on me or my brother. But then you have <laughs> in-laws or whatnot <laughs> mm. who want things done a certain way because they are have the it in their mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have it in their mind that, you know, we do this on Christmas Eve, and if it doesn't go this way, then it's going to ruin the holidays. Yeah. And that's, again, don't put that kind of pressure on people. Because then you're forcing people to be in a position that they don't really want to be in. And, again, at the end of the day, love how you want to. It's right. your relationship, and if that's not the most important thing, right. I like your theory. Holidays are when you get together and what you make it. Sure. And that's the same way we do it. And so Christmas may be on the 27th or the 28th, yeah. and maybe in January. Whatever works. Right. My mom also said that she just wanted us to be under the same roof at a certain time. That's it. So, that's, that's, I agree. My parents yeah. say the same thing. Whenever all three of the girls can get right. here, that's when it happens. That's when it's nice. And that's what's like important. That. All right. Well, if you don't spend the holidays together, good news, Nisa says, it's not the kiss of doom. You can Of course be okay. not. Of course not. But right. again, it does depend on why you're not spending the holidays together. <laughs> right. Let's examine a yeah. little deeper. Yeah. All right. I like that one. That's all right. Good. So in keeping with my whole couples sure. theme today, um, what about your guys' Christmas card? How is it? Oh, well. Funny you should mention that. Um, I actually started to put it together because I wasn't oh, going to do it. What do you I mean put gonna... it together? That, see, <laughs> well, okay. I had to hobble some things from here and go through all the pictures. See, here we go. Look at some of these that I found. Okay. These are cool Christmas cards for couples that don't <laughs> want to be all cutesy and putting stuff right. together. Why is it a project I know. when you can just get this? Maybe Look at this. It says everything. <laughs> I'm sorry that Jesus is having birth means you have to hang out with my family. <laughs> True, honest, to the point, 
I love this. I if like this that. doesn't say holiday, what does? Look oh, at this one. Oh, that's sweet. I do like that. But the, you know, that's, that's a great couple's card. That is a good We go together card. like Christmas in an ugly sweater. <laughs> I wrote Silent Night as Obviously Never Met Your Family. I might have ordered those. <laughs> I, like, I like that one. You're the reason I'm on the naughty list. Oh, that's hey, nice. Gianni. Yeah, what's up, Gianni? <laughs> ah. But that's those are good ones. So yeah. why are you going through all this with this Christmas card? What do you mean you're putting it together okay, and crafting can it? Can I honestly tell you, what? I the Christmas card is sort of the bane of my existence because it's a lot of work. However, the joy I feel from receiving other people's Christmas cards with mm. all their cute, or mm -hmm. holiday cards, with all their cute little children and pets and mm. funny things. Is that things. joy or pressure? Well, I don't know. That's a good point. But no, I feel like the joy. I really do feel you joy because I want to see what everybody's doing and like my relatives that I never hear from that okay. aren't on Facebook. It's kind of fun. That's so sweet. Yeah. I ordered the naughty list cards, and um, <laughs> that's, so that's it for me. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> really? Yeah. Now, and then even one of my friends Instagrammed a picture yesterday of her doing care packages for everyone, and I was like, Oh, jeez. Oh. Really? That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of Christmas pressure. Isn't it? I don't need that. I know. Mm -mm. Just order these cards, send them out to everyone. Okay. They're straight to the point, and <laughs> they work for everything. All don't right. you agree? Yeah, you're on my list. Not Thank my you. naughty list. I'm going to send you a card. you're on mine, too. All right, you're so. we'll too. see you in a little bit. All right, coming up next, this is a good roundtable. Fired for oh. not getting a flu shot. Yes, We discussed is. the decision one yes, company made to fire 50 employees. I'm not Ooh. mad at that. Can I just say that? Remember Scandalous. that one time?